Fort Lee High School is an above-average public school. It offers a wide levels of courses from college preparation to honors to even AP courses. The teachers are decent with a few who do their jobs exceptionally well. Fort Lee, however, should offer a greater diversity of courses to encourage more choices for students and also reduce classroom sizes. While this may require an expansion of the school, it is certainly necessary to make scheduling less of a hassle for students. Additionally, Fort Lee starts classes at 7.45 which implies that students have to get up around 7 o'clock. This is extremely early especially for the average teen. While scheduling in FLHS is a hassle, Fort Lee does have great extracurricular programs both academic and athletic, yet it'll still be convenient if there were more choices for athletics. The school has a good learning environment but it would be better if students were more enthusiastic about learning, that is not to say that certain teachers should be more enthusiastic and invigorated in teaching. Courses that teach the process of decision making and impulsive behavior. The cortex and especially the frontal cortex still has unexpectedly late changes and developments suggesting that the human brain does not develop fully until their 20s. Since the frontal cortex is the route for decision making and impulsive behaviors, we should offer courses that help teens gain a better awareness of this and how to combat it. Courses that teach logic. Since teenagers cannot make great decisions, teaching them to think logically would help brain development. Mandate students to try new things whether it be a technical skill, a musical instrument, or a sport. The connections in the brain are not set in stone. The brain is very plastic. Thus, we should capitalize on this fact and encourage students to find things they enjoy and spend time making the neural connections to improve in that field. Offer yoga, meditation, or relaxation classes. Encourage exercise by having a wide range of resources to facilitate many choices for exercise. It is already enough that teenagers suffer from flux of sex hormones. They should not have to deal with stress hormones as well, this will reduce their stress. Teach courses in alcohol prevention. Teens tend to drink a great quantity of alcohol in the often times they do drink which can lead risky behavior. Enforce a stricter penalty for students who fall asleep in class but also start and end school later. Sleep is important for the development of the brain. In addition, studies show that the sleep lack of sleep leads to more impulsive behavior, fatigue, lack of attention, and depression. Since teenagers' sleep hormones don't kick in till late night, we should allow them to start school later. At the same time, if they still fail to get enough sleep by falling asleep in school, the punishments will be more severe.